বলবীর বল উন্নত মমশির শির নেহারি আমারই নত শির ওই শিখর হিমাদ্রীর বলবীর বল মহাবিশ্বের মহাকাশ ফাড়ি চন্দ্র সূর্য গ্রহ তারা ছাড়ি ফুলক দুলক গোলক ভেদিয়া খোদার আসন আর ছেদিয়া উঠিয়াছে চির বিস্ময় আমি বিশ্ববিধাত্রীর দিস অ্যামেজিং পয়েন বিদ্রোহী ওয়াজ রিটেন বাই এ ভেরি অ্যাঙ্গ্রি 22 ইয়ার ওল্ড ম্যান ইন ডিসেম্বর 1921 কাজি নাজরুল ইসলাম নাজরুল ওয়াজ বোর্ন অন 24th মে 1899 ইন চুরুলিয়া a village in Bordhaman district, West Bengal. Nazrul began studies at the Muslim elementary school, but after his father's early death, Nazrul, at the age of 10, was made the village mullah and muazzin, caller for prayers at the mosque. Soon he was drawn into a group of travelling musicians, the Leto. He became conversant in Hindu mythology and the folk culture of Bengal while composing dramas for Leto teams. Reading major Bengali newspapers, Nazrul became aware of the world developments like the Bolshevik Revolution. Nazrul now started writing in earnest. His first published piece was Baundeler Atto Kahini or autobiography of a vagabond in 1919 in a literary journal of liberal Bengali Muslims. Nazrul went on to publish several poems like Mukti or Freedom in the Bongyo Mushulman Shahitto Putrika. He introduced ghazals in Bengali for the first time. Nazrul's writing career took off as a journalist. With Muzaffar Ahmed, he brought out the evening daily Nabojuk with the support of prominent Muslim politician Fazlul Haq. Nazrul's language of protest was a unique blend of metaphors drawn from both Islam and Hinduism. In August 1922, Nazrul began publishing his own bi-weekly paper with meager resources. He called it Thumketu or Comet. In November 1922, the British authorities banned Thumketu, arrested Nazrul and sentenced him to a year's rigorous imprisonment. Prison could not silence Nazrul's pen. Stirring poems like Shikol Porar Chol composed in 1924 and Srishti Shukherul composed in 1923 were impassioned cries of a free spirit. On his release from prison in December 1923, he hastened to Kumilla and proposed marriage to Pramila, whom he called his Bijoini, the victorious one. An untiring advocate of gender equality, Nazrul made an inspiring plea in his poem, Nari. Nazrul's musical career received a boost in 1928 when the British-owned gramophone company overcame its prejudice and saw the wisdom of making a handsome offer to Nazrul to record his songs and become the music trainer. Nazrul's Islamic music had a significant liberalizing impact on tradition-bound Muslim society. In 1931, Nazrul entered the world of theatre and films and later joined Calcutta Radio as story and scriptwriter and music director. In the middle of a radio broadcast in 1942, Nazrul suddenly felt the power of speech ebbing out of him, along with his mental faculties. Honours poured in. Calcutta University bestowed its prestigious Jagottarini gold medal on Nazrul in 1945. The Indian government honoured him with the Padma Bhushan in 1960. On August 29, 1976, Nazrul passed away, his wife and a son having already predeceased him. <laughs>